Hey, what's up you guys? It's Zach with PC Bros. And today I'm gonna to show you how to add storage to your PC. This time I am doing the M.2 slash NVMe edition. I'm gonna show you how to install the storage and even how to allocate it after so you can actually use it. But let's go over a few things first before getting into the installation. So the first thing we gotta know is what is the make and the model of your motherboard? So if you don't know that off the top of your head, you can find that out by going to the search and typing system information. You go to baseboard product right here. This PC that I'm actually filming this on is different from the one I'm showing in the video. This is the one in the video and it will show what it supports from CPU generation to the type of M.2 slot. So this hyper M.2 slot is that one with the uh, armor over it. This supports Gen 4 by 4. And then that second M.2 slot, the one that we're actually going to use in the video, this one supports Gen 3 by 4 and then SATA 3. So now that we know this, we can actually just copy and paste this or type this into Amazon and find the storage that we're going to need for this upgrade. These are the two accepted storage devices that we just saw on the website. On the top here, we have the Gen 3 NVMe. And then on the bottom, we have a SATA 3. So these look pretty much identical. You might notice they're going opposite directions on where they plug in, but either of these will work and we have checked that they will work for our motherboard. The Gen 3 NVMe on the top here is the faster storage. So we're actually going to go with this one and install this one, but the SATA would work completely fine. So here is what we will need for this project. We are going to need a PH1 Phillips screwdriver. Of course, the storage of choice. Make sure we have the standoff and the proper M.2 screw to make this work. These come with the motherboard and sometimes they'll still be in the motherboard screwed in if you don't have it in the package. So what we're gonna need to do first is make sure the PC is powered off and not plugged into power at all. And we are going to unscrew side panel here and now to make it easier so i'm going to unscrew these two screws here on the side that are keeping the gpu in place and then you will pull this back remove the pcie cable you're going to push down the lever keeping it in place and then grabbing it here on the side and the bottom giving it a wiggle not just trying to yank it out so now we can get a pretty good look at the motherboard here and we can see what kind of ports we are working with. This is the faster port that I put the boot device in. And then right here is the only one we have left. It looks like it actually does have the standoff in it, but we will need the M.2 screw, which I have. Like I checked before, this port supports both SATA 3 and Gen 3 NVMe. So I'm gonna open this up, lay the PC flat. Now I am going to insert the NVMe on one side. You will have to hold and push down as you screw in the screw for the other side. And it's as easy as that. These are the easiest storage to install. But now we're gonna have to do one more thing before we can actually use it. So let's get the graphics card back in and plug this up and I'll show you what to do next. Here's how to reinstall the GPU. So on the side here, you wanna make sure this is open. And then in those two empty lanes where you took it out, we're gonna line it up right back where it was. You wanna make sure the lever on the PCIe lane is pushed down. Looks like it is all lined up and we're gonna apply a little pressure and you should hear a click. Push that back in and then the two screws that we unscrewed to get it off, we'll go back. Make sure you put the cable back if your GPU has a cable. It is ready to plug in. So now we're plugged in and have the new storage. I'm just gonna show you real quick by going to the bottom taskbar, right clicking and clicking task manager and going to performance. You see that the storage is showing up right here. Sometimes when you put in a new drive, it does not, but this one is but that does not mean we can use it yet. So what we're going to need to do to actually be able to use it is go down to that search bar and type in disk management. From here, it will pop up all of the drives that you have in your computer. The one right here on the top is the original drive that we had in here. And then the one here on the bottom is the new one that we just put in. Now we need to get that new one to look like the one on top. Right click right here and click initialize disk and then click OK. Now it says online and now we go right over here right click and do new simple volume click next don't touch anything here just keep that the same 
Click next. Choose the letter you want to assign. Next. Don't change any of this. Click next and finish. Now you see that it shows healthy and has that same blue color as the top one. Now it's ready to go. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what other how-to videos you want to see next.